Okay guys, so right here is an example of three reels that I have out of about probably a dozen that need the line removed off their spools. Now normally I would be using this tool right here and that is the Daiwa PE line changer. It's a little line removing tool, JDM only apparently, that has this little cool factor and that's the reason why I bought it. Now, unfortunately, the last time I went down to visit my cousin in Georgia, I brought that tool down there and I left it at his house. So immediately what I did was I went back on eBay to see if I could order a new one. And as you can see here by this picture, the cost of getting a new one to me was gonna be a little bit over $50. Now, it's been a while since I've bought the original one, so I can't remember exactly what it cost, but, uh, I figured, you know, why not save some money and look for a cheaper alternative. And I do remember a couple of guys in the comment section of the video I made on that PE line changer telling me about this. This is the Berkeley line stripper. And apparently this is a new and improved model. I guess there was an old one and Basically, I saw this and there were immediately two things that give this thing an advantage over the Daiwa tool. Now, the first one is that right there. This is only $15 and shipped free to my door. So $15 versus $50, that was a no-brainer. Plus, I get to try a cool new little tool. And then the second thing is that this has no line capacity. Now the old tool, basically you spun the fishing line onto the actual machine itself. And once I started using it on, you know, bigger capacity reels, uh, it would run out of space. So with this tool here, uh, apparently it does not do that. It just strips line off and, you know, you can strip it right off into a bag, a trash can or the floor or whatever. But uh, yeah, let's try this thing out. Now apparently the improvements over the old model is that you get two and a half times more battery life and you get 1.5 times more stripping speed and they're saying it can strip 300 yards a minute. Now the old Daiwa tool that I had, I didn't really, you know, time anything or, but I think it uh, go very, very fast. So hopefully this thing will at least equal the speed of that more expensive Daiwa tool. So let's get into it. Now this thing requires, I think, two AA batteries, if I'm not mistaken, which I have. So I'm going to pull this thing out, I'm going to set it up, and we're going to strip some line off of these three reels right here. Okay, so as I was putting the batteries in this tool, I went ahead and I looked at the back side of the package, and apparently this is like a multi-purpose tool. Now let's go over some of the things that I noticed about it first. Now, it feels pretty well made, especially for a $15 product. Um, doesn't feel quite as well made as the Daiwa, but uh, that's to be expected. Now, of course, this is made in China, no big surprise. But the section right here where your hand is going to be or your fingers is uh, textured and it's kind of rough feeling, so it gives you good grip. So I guess if you're out on the water stripping line, that's going to definitely help you not drop this thing into the water and then as you can see it also comes with a lanyard attached which is also a plus the Daiwa didn't and then here's a little feature now this little orange thing up top is actually a, I guess a sharpening stone that you could use to sharpen your hooks so yeah this thing is a uh, kind of like a multi-purpose uh, line stripper hook sharpening tool which the Daiwa definitely did not have a hook sharpening tool. All right, so here's the instructions. It says, holding line stripper with button and Berkeley logo facing you, insert the line into the hole on the right side. Press and hold the button to strip line from your reel. Notice the arrow direction on top of the line stripper for stripping direction. So basically, you hold it just like this and you feed it from left to right and there's an arrow on top. Hopefully you guys can see that and it's just gonna peel the line off. So 
let's start off with the Spirit Fox Bait Finesse Reel first. Now this has a really shallow spool but this is four pound line so there's quite a bit on there and let's try this out. So I'm gonna try to feed it through the line guide of the reel. Okay, there we go. All you gotta do is put the line through the little hole and press the button and I guess something in there grabs the line. I know the line is really thin, you can't see it, but it's ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just click the thumb bar on this Spirit Fox and I'm also gonna tighten up the spool tension so we don't get an overrun. I don't know how fast this Berkeley tool can go, but the Daiwa could go really, really fast, and sometimes that actually caused a uh, bird's nest. Okay, so I'm all set, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a timer on the screen and just see how long it takes for this tool to strip the line off of this spirit box. Here we go. Okay, all done. Okay, so I do believe that the Daiwa is a tad faster. And one thing about the Daiwa is that you can actually vary the speed depending on how hard you press the button. This Berkeley line stripper seems to have only one speed, which is, you know, no problem. But uh, yeah, I don't know how long that was, but it'll be on the screen for you. But very, very easy. Now, as you can see, it piled the line up into, I guess, a little ball you can just take and throw in the garbage. But I would probably recommend you just strip it right into a bag or a trash can. All right, let's do the metanium next. All right, so I'm gonna tighten up this spool tension. I don't wanna blow up. Okay, so this is 10 pound mono. And once again, you just stick this in the hole from right to left, press the button, and uh, let's go. Okay, as you can see here, the line is bunching all around the tool itself. And I guess it's causing it to bog down. So I'm gonna move some of that. All right, let's start up again. All right, all done. Alright, so as you can see, since the line was so curly that it bunched up around the tool itself, and I don't really think it caused it to bog down. I think it was just prolonged use. But uh, there we go, all the line taken off of the Metanium MGL. And now here comes the real test. We're gonna take 12 pound mono off of the 200 capacity spool of the Corrado K. Now, I can definitely tell now that the Daiwa tool is much faster. Well, not much faster, but definitely faster than this one. But, you know, I saved myself over 30 bucks, so I think it's worth it. Now, just imagine trying to remove this line off this Corrado by hand doing this. That would take literally probably 
10 minutes. And you know, time is money. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna tighten this spool tension up again. I'm gonna time this one as well. All right, here we go. I have a feeling we're gonna have a big mess, but we'll see what happens. This is a huge mess I'm having right here. Okay, done. Just like that, a huge 200 capacity Shimano spool has been stripped of line. So I will definitely take that versus, you know, 10 minutes of pulling line off by hand. Okay, so I got me a new little tool here that I'm gonna be using. And uh, you know, for 15 bucks, you get this sharpening stone, you got your little uh, lanyard to put around your hand. I think it's definitely worth the money. Now, I think I got mine off of eBay. And uh, if you want to check this out, go on eBay and just type in Berkeley Line Stripper. And I'm not sure how the old one fared against this one, but I am very, very happy with this purchase.